Hi everybody, this is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And today we're talking about Google extensions. And this is the next video that should come out on my channel after the quality score. And it's very, very, very important to talk about. Because extensions is something, give additional structure information about your product in the ad. And extensions directly affect the quality score of your account and the quality score of your keywords. Because extension affects two things. First, it's expected click-through rate. And second, it's ad relevancy. And let's have a look why it happens. So this is a real advertising page from Google Ads that I took a screenshot about maybe two days ago. Uh, I took San Francisco location and I Googled for BMW something. And here, with the yellow color, I showed you several extensions that are actually exist on this page. First one is a call extension, actually number that is advertising is actually shown on a Google Ads page. And the most important thing of this number that not so many people that ac actually making a call directly from this page, but it first makes your ad bigger, second, it makes it more detailed, and third, if you Google it from your smartphone, you can actually call directly from your phone without going to site. Another thing here is a structural snippets like models and uh, address here so you can understand if it's actually close to you or not. The time when your shop is open and the site links that you can see on the second ad. It's very, everything, all this stuff is very important because first, Compare the first ad of this list to the last ad in this list. Just have a look how extension makes the advertising, the ad bigger. Then have a look how this extension make it more detailed, much more comfortable to work, to work with. To, you actually want to click on it because it's so big, so detailed and so cool. And this is what you need to, to understand, that when you create extensions, you're trying to extend your ad to make it not just bigger, but also much tastier. Something that will actually make people to click on it because they understand from this advertising that you are, that you know your business. So there are several extensions, actually about nine or something, and I'm going to cover all of them very quickly so you can have a basic understanding how they work. Let's start with the site links, with the most important extension you have to, you must have inside your account. Site links is the actual links that goes to your site with the different pages. Site links is additional links in your site that can actually split your traffic, give a lot of inform additional information to your customers and bring you a lot of extra space on the ad. Because site links contains of four headlines, additional headlines and also each headline has two description lines below and you can use it to make your ad very powerful. I'm going to film another video when I'm going to tell you how to write these site links correctly, but right now I make you a very, very short note that you should remember. Use site links to bring benefits on Google Ads page. Don't use them just to say that you are a cool guy tell people why they should buy right now, right here from your page, because you have the best customer support, because you speak English, or because you have less prices, or you make something, you have something that is created specially for me, because I, I'm the only one, the chosen one, that have to go to your site. Don't use them, don't waste the space, the so valuable space in your ad. Call out extension is the second most important thing. It does not require you to make any links or any descriptions. It's just four very short theses that explain why you're the best. This is a very, very close to site links. The only difference is that actually it looks very, very short. So something like um, numbers or how many people working there, something like the best thing to put there is numbers about your business, how good you are, how many, how many successful cases you have, so how many models you have in stock, how many colors I can choose from, how many stuff that exists there in your business I can actually buy. And that's, that's a very important thing. Again, try to put their num people love numbers. Okay, structured snippets is uh, things that actually is a list of 
for example, models or hotels or directions or any other types that can be uh, applied to your business. For example, you have uh, BMW, Mercedes and Toyota or you sell train tickets, flight tickets and bus tickets or you make uh, you sell houses and flats and I don't know or something else. A lot of things that can be uh, structured in a list should be in your structured snippet uh, extension. So you go there, you see here after, after the header section, you have a language and the models. So you put, you click on the models and you will see how many different types you can put there. It's about 15 different types you can choose from. And if your business is applicable for that, you should, you have to use it. Now we've covered three most important extensions and we're going to less important, but still very cool thing. If you sell something online and you want people to actually leave uh, their SMSs or their emails right on the Google Ads page, you can add a text extension. I can tell you honestly, I have never done a single text extension in my life, but I really suggest you to try if your business is medium or small and you have a quite uh, limited location to play around with. Do not launch this extension on the whole United States, but if you're located somewhere close to the city that has less than a million people there, you should try it. Another thing is a location extension. And I can't show you how to create location ex extension because location extension actually depending on your Google My Business account. You have to go, you try to create a location extension, it will ask you to select a Google My Business account and then you go step by step creating the location. Then you're going to, I'm not sure, depending on the country, but in some countries you will have to wait unless you have an actual physical letter coming to your business so you can confirm that you exist on that address. In some countries you should not do that and it's very depending on when you're actually watching this video and it probably will take time but location extension is a very cool thing that looks amazing. So I really suggest you to spend your time and create location extension if your business is depending on location. For example, if you sell online courses or you make online education like I do, you should not make a location extension because it does not matter. It just does not affect customers on any way. But if you sell, as I love BMW, and I actually love BMW, and when I'm going to buy one, I will actually looking for a place that is close to me because location actually make a very big difference in this decision making. Another thing here is the price extension. Price extension is very applicable for those who have e-commerce that sells tickets or the same sells some models because you can actually show different snippets there. It also takes a very it also takes a lot of space on Google Ads page and on mobile phone and you show people that you have different brands and different items to sell. The tricky part here is that if your price does not match on Google Ads and on real landing page, you will have a very huge bounce rate because people don't like when you mess around. If you have a quite stable prices, for example, you sell education courses and you sell um, standard one and VAP one and the limited one, you can actually put the prices there or you send a garden lamp. As I showed in my previous videos, you also can put several variations here. But the best thing here is to put something that does not have millions of different items, but has three to four different price options. For example, uh, you sell um, tickets to Caribbean Sea and you have a seven days trip, 14 days trip and 21 days trip. And that will be very applicable here to show actual prices for people. Another thing is a promotion extensions is very is almost the same as a call outs and the site links much closer to site links. The difference is that you show here how big discount you have and it gives you an ability to limit the promotion extension with a start and end period. It's very difficult to create promotion extensions manually because you need to create a lot of them if you have a lot of products or you have to ask somebody to create automation for them. But if you have something like 15% sale for a weekend, you should just create one account level promotion extension and try if it actually affects your business. Because, it now, it's, because it's not always works really good, 
but on average, I would really suggest you to create promotion extensions at least once a month. And that's all extensions that currently exist. Uh, there are some, diff there are two more different extensions that I'm not covering here. One is app extension. It's very easy. You just go there and create an application extension, just putting a link to your application if it, if you have one. But if you don't have one, and most of my clients and most of my, uh, most of the businesses I've ever worked with doesn't have their own application. Another thing here is automatic, automatically created extensions. For example, if you have some rating system or reviews on your business on other site, Google will automatically pick them up and add to your advertising if these reviews are good. And if these reviews are bad, it won't do that. But you cannot affect it directly. You cannot manipulate it or actually change it somehow manually. So that's why I'm also not including this in my presentation. So I'm going to film the next video about how to make past site links with examples and uh, also will cover some callouts. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and leave your suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and see you. Bye bye.